through ego or whatever reason, good or bad, you know, he's definitely better than Al Qaeda. Uh, and so now they're tearing it up, putting him in debt, bringing in the forced inoculations, and are going to use that as an invasion hub for AFRICOM. We predicted it all in the Obama deception three and a half years ago. Now we did, this is just now breaking, Wayne. We actually have footage from inside the ascension. Uh, of the new leader of Saudi Arabia. This is a big deal. The satellite feed just came in. Uh, we're going to go to this feed and uh, get your take on it. Uh, but th uh, this is happening right now uh, with the uh, king of Saudi Arabia and the new crown prince. Uh, let's go. Take you now. It's ready. Go to that live feed right now. Here it is. Okay, that feed cut out. But that, that, it's rare that they actually have a feed into uh, the Saudi Arabian royal supreme uh, chambers. Um, what did you think of that? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's amazing because, you know, the, the, uh, <laughs> the royal palace in Riyadh is uh, harder to get into uh, than, than the Vatican. Uh, so it's amazing uh, that uh, footage. <laughs> they are handsome creatures, though, royalty. <laughs> well, they all gathered for the Queen's Jubilee recently in London. So, uh, you know, I remember... What King Farouk uh, once said that uh, eventually the only kings and queens in the world would be the, the ones you find in any deck of playing cards and uh, the King of England. You're right. In fact, since you mentioned that, uh, guys, pull up uh, the uh, uh, Skeksy Feast. And we actually do, just for you, Wayne, so we have a, 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 this is a recording of the Diamond Jubilee uh, of one of the feasts uh, that they were having. And so I thought we would show this. Um, but, but I mean, getting away from the sarcasm, yes, for the New York Times says, I think that was a, it's from the dark crystal. It's a, it's a joke, but it's not really a joke because that's how these people act. How ridiculous is it to have all this so-called royalty wearing crowns? And, and what is it about the entitled, uh, elite class that stole their money or got it off government bailouts or whatever, that they love going to award ceremonies and wearing crowns and stuff. You know, I've been offered a lot of big awards and, you know, taken a few, but I, one time I was already going through California w shooting a video, both for Bohemian Grove infiltrating, and I was given an award and, I, and I, for journalism I went and took it. So I was driving through. I was like, well, that'll work. I'm actually there. But I just don't get this need they have to like this conspicuous consumption and the rest of it. I mean, a lot of it is that th th they're mental midgets, but good people have a blind spot to them because we're not like them. And so that's why they're able to dominate. Your comments on that before we show the, uh, the Queen of England uh, Diamond Jubilee feast. Well, they, they, you know, it's still the old divine reign of kings. They feel that their power, their, their political power, is ordained by God. And uh, it's hard to get these people to think otherwise, even in the 21st century. You found the uh, uh, Skeksy. Start over. They had the Skeksy feast. I wasn't ignoring you. Start over with the divine rule of kings, everything else. Start over. Yeah, well, you know, these these kings and queens believe that their their authority comes through the divine right of kings. It's a very ancient thing where God ordains uh, them to rule on his behalf on on earth. And, you know, it's hard to get these, these people out of this mindset, uh, uh, even if they have prime, elected prime ministers like in Great Britain. But uh, I think... Uh, uh, you know, with the, what's the people are just getting more and more upset seeing them live that way. You know, this guy in Spain is in Africa shooting elephants. Uh, um, the king of Spain, Juan Carlos. Uh, I mean, you know, and, and the people in Spain are losing their pensions and losing their social security. And then they see him running down to Africa and shooting elephants. I mean, uh, this, uh, you know. Spain well, what's even was, worse is Prince Philip and, and puts out stuff, so does Charles, saying, try not to take a hot shower. It, it hurts the carbon. To you, but but then they have literally hundreds of giant palaces, hundreds, and, and and dozens of jets and private trains and huge yachts the size of ocean liners. And then they're like, just take a hot bath. And people are like, oh, thank you, sir. In fact, in fact, we have one more clip here of not the Diamond Jubilee, but I think David Icke may be right. These are the creatures, the entities. Uh, well, this is the Queen of England uncloaked. She, she turned off her cloaking device, and uh, we actually have footage. Uh, she's the one in the middle here, Wayne. We actually have footage of the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II, and the groom of the stool. Here it is. <laughs> Isn't that nice, Wayne? Oh, absolutely. You know, I would note that the uh, Jamaica, which uh, still has the Queen as their head of state, is finally, uh, that became independent in 62. They're finally going to offer a republic and get rid of the Queen as their head of state. It's, 
it's amazing that Jamaica can do that, but Australia, Canada, and New Zealand still uh, have uh, this person uh, who's many, many miles away, thousands of miles away as their head of state. Um, and uh, maybe they'll, you know, Jamaica now can take the queen off their currency. Maybe I think they should put Bob Marley on the Jamaican currency, but. Good idea. Well, Wayne Madsen, thank you for joining us uh, today. This is big news. We were able to give you a feed inside uh, the King of Saudi Arabia's bedchamber. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, I know you're on Skype with us. So you couldn't see it because we don't send you video back, but, but we'll send you a clip of this. And I think you'll enjoy seeing how the better, better elites live. Absolutely. Good to be with you, Alex. And uh, people, if they want the book, WayneMadsenReport.com and click on the the, the link and, and get it that way. You bet. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon, my friend. Okay. Good to be with you. And now for the Declaration of Independence. Let's look at a few excerpts of this document on the eve of July 4th. By the way, we do have a special tape show with some exclusive new information and also some best stuff tomorrow on the 4th of July, uh, which the globalists absolutely hate. This is from the U.S. National Archives and Records Administration. And I'm just going to read some excerpts uh, from it. In Congress, July 4th, 1776. That's why we have July 4th. I know they teach you it's about drinking beer and worshiping imperial wars. But I'll assure you, folks, well, we covered earlier in the night how they're saying freedom lovers and those that love the Constitution are terrorists. So this is Terrorist Day. July 4th is Terrorist Day. The unanimous declaration of 13 United States of America. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the law of nature and of nature's God entitle them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare their cause which impels them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. To secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. 90 plus percent don't like the TSA, they don't stop. Congress is a 9% approval rating, they don't care, they just hire more SWAT teams, more tanks. They know they don't have our consent, so they're arming against us. That whenever, now listen, this is the terrorism here. This is why the FEMA and others teach it's terrorism. They tell police that the Declaration of Independence is bad because they're anti-American. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it. In fact, guys, can you pull up, is the Declaration of Independence terrorist? The BBC had a debate in Philadelphia last year, and they had a bunch of U.S. lawyers agree, yes, America is terroristic. Government is God. I'm not joking. We covered earlier where they demonize it. In fact, I have FBI training manuals where they say, if they make frequent references to the U.S. Constitution, that's a terrorist. We'll see, people that aren't terrorists are terrorists to terrorists. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it. That's right to revolt in common law. And to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as that shall seem most likely to affect the safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established should, should not be changed for light or transient causes. And accordingly, all experience has shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, invinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, what is America turning into? It is their right and it is their duty. Thomas Jefferson wrote this, by the way, with the consent of those uh, involved to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies. We've patiently suffered as well as the government ships guns to Mexico to blame the Second Amendment and blows up Oklahoma City and stages 9-11. It's not the government. It's the foreign banks, as they brag, that have captured us. They brag in their arrogance as they make 40 to 1 bets with people's private bank accounts that they captured us in Europe. Well, they can go to Hades. Did you guys find the BBC article? It's uh, all over. Just type in, 
is the is the Declaration of Independence illegal, or is the Declaration of Independence terrorist? And uh, it uh, breaks it all down. There it is. Infowars is the top link. We can give folks a document cam shot. But then BBC News Magazine. Then click on the link, and it will take people directly to it. There you go. Click on it. That's why we saved part of articles so we can prove that it indeed happened. And is the Declaration of Independence illegal? And there are American sympathizers and globalist traitors who want to be slaves to the queen. You see it all over the news, worshiping it. Uh, and they want to go back under it. Let's continue. And to provide new guards for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies, and such is now the necessity which constrains them to alter their former system of government. And then they go through a list of the chain of abuses. And I challenge you to read the long train of abuses, the term they use, our forebearers, to look at what's happening today. It's exactly the same, but in some cases, worse. You know, the king hadn't thought of putting cancer viruses in vaccines and giving them to people. They would just give the end ends and people blankets from folks that had just died of smallpox. And then the British manual will say, make sure it's fresh. All right, let's continue here. Um, it just goes through it all, and I'm not going to read it all. I'm just going to read a few here. Um, he says, he has erected a multitude of new offices, all these new bureaucracies, and sent hither swarms of officers to harass our people and eat out our substance. Exactly what's going on today. He has, uh, talking about the King of England, he has affected to render the military independent and superior to the civil power. That's martial law. That's the military above the law. That's the military involved domestically. That's the police saying they're immune. For quartering large bodies of armed troops among us. You're not supposed to have military on the streets. Same thing today. For imposing taxes on us without our consent. All these regulations, fines, fees. Obama can't pass a law, so he just says executive order. For imposing taxes on us without consent. For depriving us, in many cases, of the benefits of trial by jury. IRS courts, family courts, all of them. For suspending our own legislatures. Well, they just tell the Congress and others they don't count now. The UN's the boss. And declaring themselves invested with power to legislate for us in all cases whatsoever. The executive, the UN, all of it, just doing whatever they want. He has constrained our fellow citizens, taken capital on the high seas, to bear arms against their country. That's conscripting people and making them fight. That's like the draft. Uh, or uh, NDAA saying they'll kill you if they want. Read it. It's the Declaration of Independence. That's only a small part of it. This is July 4th. This is America. This is coffin nails to tyranny. This be treason in a world run by tyrants. Those that attack this document, they are the ones involved in treason. They are the scallywags. They are the enemy. FEMA and the foreign British crown and the New World Order and their system of fraud. That's the enemy. There lies the enemy. Not our George Washington. Not our forebearers they demonize 24-7. All right, that's my July 4th message. Incredible job with the crew. Don't forget dreams from my real father. Globalists really hate this film. Blackout on this. They're trying to ban advertising it, as you heard when we had on the director last week. Get it at Infowars.com or Infowarshop.com is the direct URL or 888-253-3139 so that we can continue to fund our operation, get more reporters and do a better job because we know we're only alive once. We're in the clutch. God's put us in the position to be able to challenge these people. You put us in the position supporting us. So spread the word about PrisonPlanet.tv, the 15-day free trial, the books, the videos, the water filters at InfoWarsShop.com, your email list, your Twitter, your Facebook. We're getting the signal out because of you. And we realize what you've invested in us in time and energy and trust. So we are breaking our backs to bring you this information. All right, I'm Alex Jones signing off. Have a great terrorist day, anti-slavery day, July 4th.